you may want to share some files that you have within your Google Drive. To do this, you need to find the file that you want to share and right click on the file. When you right click on the file, it will come up with a menu that looks like this on the left hand side of the screen. Along this list, you'll find a button that says share. If you click on this icon, it will pop up with a box that allows you to type in some people's names. If you type a name or an email address into this box, it will then find them within our system and you can add them to your document. You can choose whether you're going to give this person editing rights, commenting rights or view rights. The other way of sharing documents via Google Drive is by clicking on the Get Shareable link. If you click on this icon, you will then get a pop-up box. You can click the toggle button to switch on link sharing. Once it's on, it will give you a link that you can share with people via email or via a chat, and anyone at the Priory School with the link will be able to view your document. The other way to share a document is by clicking on the share button in the top right hand corner in a doc or a sheets or a slides. The button looks a bit like this in Google Docs. When you click on that button, it will pop open a window that looks very similar to the one that we've just seen before. If somebody shares a file with you, it will appear under the shared with me section on the left hand side of the screen. Click this icon to go and look at all the files that have been shared with you. The great thing about Google is it makes it really easy to share work with other people or get other people to help collaborate on the work that you're doing. So let's take my geography homework for example here. If I want to share this with somebody else, let's say another student or maybe one of my teachers to get them to give me a bit of feedback without using Google Classroom, I can right click on this and I can go to share. That button there will allow me to type in the names of people. So I can type in Hankin again and I can get up Mr. Hankin and I can then give Mr. Hankin editing rights or commenting rights or view rights to this document. So I just want him to be able to view the document. I can put in a message and then I can send and that gives the right to Mr. Hankin to be able to view that document. Until I share a document, the only person that can see these files is whoever's logged into this account. So this account's logged into test student, so these files are owned by the test student. If I want to share with other people, I can go back to the share button again, and I can share it with another person if I wish. The other way to share is by right clicking and go to get shareable link. And this will then give you, when you switch it on, a link that anybody at the Priory School can view this piece of work. I'm going to do that again, get a shareable link. There's the link and I can copy that and it's already copied to my clipboard and I can paste that into an email or I can email that to somebody or I can send that to somebody so they can access this piece of work. So there are two different ways you can share via Google Drive. The other way you can share is if you go into a Google Docs or a Google Sheets or a Google Slides, in the top right hand corner there is a share button. If I want to share that with somebody else, I can click this button and I can then do the same thing as I've done before. I can give it to different people to edit or view or comment, or I can change some of the settings up here and get the shareable link so that anybody at the Priory School can view by giving them this URL. If somebody shares a file with me, I can click over this side and I can go and view all the files that have been shared. And then that way I can see if somebody shared, let's say their homework with me to work on, I can go into this icon here and then go and find the work.